Hey there everybody! Today I'm going to show you some of the features that you can use when using the Fourscore app for your iPad. Uh, this is an app that will let you view your music files and you can annotate them and edit them and there's a lot of cool stuff that you can do so uh, I'm just going to give you a quick tutorial about some of the more basic features of this app. To get started, you are going to tap the center of your screen right about here. Just tap in the center and then that will bring up a menu. Once you've tapped the center of the page, this menu bar will appear at the top of your screen. What we're going to look at today is what each of these six icons will open up and allow you to do. This music note icon on the far left of the screen will open up a menu that has all of the songs that you have stored in Fourscore. As you can see, I have them stored by alphabetical order in the title tab, but you can also store them by how new they are, meaning how recently you added them to Fourscore, or by how high of a rating you gave each piece. The icon next to the music note this little book is your bookmarks tab. I don't have any bookmarks stored currently, but if you would like to keep your place in a long piece and come back to that page time and time again, all you have to do is tap on this icon and add a bookmark using this little icon here. Uh, by tapping on that, you will be able to create a new bookmark on the page of music that you currently have up, and then you can go back to that page as often as you need to. This tab right here that is next to the bookmarks tab is the set lists tab. Set lists allow you to group your music in any kind of order or category that you want to. I have a flute lessons set list here as you can see, um, but you can make one for any instrument you want, for any band or ensemble that you happen to be in. This is really up to you. It lets you group the music the way that you need to. Moving on to the right of your title page, the magnifying glass will bring up this search menu. Uh, if you can't remember where you placed a piece of music or you just want to find something quickly without browsing through the rest of the menus, just tap on this icon here and then you can type in the title of your piece and it should bring it up fairly quickly. This tab here will bring up your metronome. The metronome that is built into Fourscore can go as slowly as 30 beats per minute or as quickly as 208 beats per minute. If you would like to adjust the tempo, tap here. And if you would like to change the time signature, tap here. If you would like the metronome to be an audible metronome only using just clicks, tap this tab here. And if you would like a pulsing light to flash on your page to the time of the metronome, click on the visible tab. If you would like both at the same time, click this tab. The last tab that we're going to talk about today is this little suitcase on the far right of the page. And it will bring up this side menu here. Now there are a lot of options in this menu and we don't have time to look at every single one of them today, but the most important one that you're going to use in the entire time that you're using Fourscore is this first option right here. Tapping on the annotation tab will bring up this menu bar with all of these different options for you. You can write into your music using any of these pens or highlighters. If you would like to put in your own slur, you can do that by clicking on this and then you are able to draw your own slur into the music, except it'll look a lot prettier than that. And if you want to put in your own accidentals, clicking on this sharp symbol will bring up an entire side menu of all the different accidentals and dynamic markings in the proper musical font so it will look like it's a part of the score. If you want to type into your piece directly, click on this little T and it will bring up a text box and a keyboard for you to write in anything that you want to write to yourself to remember about the piece. If you want to erase just one of your markings, then tap on this eraser tab and you can erase any of the pieces that you've written in yourself that you need to.
If you want to erase everything that you've done, tap on this X and it will give you a prompt asking you if you would like to clear your entire page. Be warned that if you do this, all of your annotations will disappear. If you're done annotating your page, you may simply click the done word on the upper right hand corner of the tab and the bar will disappear. That's all of the tips that I have to share with you today, so enjoy using your new Fourscore app.